Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Last time we began our raid on Midgur, and I said last time that I'd show you the chest that uh, we were going to miss out on from dropping down, and this is this one right here, I just forgot to mention it. Anyway, enough of that, up the stairs, more stairs, and where are we at? Save point, because I probably could have done this last time, but... Oh well, whatever. Anyway, through here, press up, go through the tube, and now we get more stairs. Do not head up first, you don't want to do that yet. You want to go back first, and this is going to consist of me running through screens that look like this, and like this. So. There's also some treasures along the way, some bunch of sources, they're all in easily identifiable, che identifiable chests, and there's uh, some of your characters along this route, the ones that are not in your party. I'll just uh, do this all off screen since it's basically the same thing all over again, and I'll show off a battle here and there if uh, there's a new enemy, and then I'll meet you at the end. Oh well, there's a new enemy, right off the bat. I actually get to go very far. These are Shadow Makers, and they are weak to lightning. Again, machines. They need to switch characters, but oh well. Apparently, I Cloud has been slowed. Actually, I think everybody's been slowed. Why is Magic Breath... Am I using the wrong skill? Oh, it is targeting mouth. Okay. Can I do something, please? Yeah, there's not a lot to these guys. They have 2,000 HP which means I can one-shot them with trying or a normal attack. All right, that's it. Thank you. Take forever to kill these guys. Not because they're strong, just because they won't stop attacking me. Ooh, turbo weapons. Okay, on the way all the way back here, I managed to pick up a power source, mind source, magic source, and a guard source and the W item material. Very useful. And you can't go any farther because it's a dead end. It's a save point here if uh, you feel the need to use it. I'm just going to head all the way back to uh, the stairs that we came into the, the tunnels with. And I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And there's actually a boss fight here. But it's triggered in a strange way. So what you do is you come up on here. You notice it's at a higher level than one down there. Sneak around clockwise or counterclockwise, clockwise. And so you're right up here. Then you can actually bypass this fight altogether. However, if you're down here and you run past this point, you'll trigger this fight with the Turks. And even if you do initiate this sequence, this fight is actually optional, believe it or not. And we'll find out about this in a minute. But of course, it's better to fight them anyway because they're the Turks. And if you remember the time we fought uh, Reno and Rude on the Galnica, they have some pretty good items to steal. And this time we get to fight Elena as well, and she also has a pretty good item to steal. So I want to do that. The other thing to note about these guys is they each have a different elemental absorption defense, or whatever you want to call it. Elena absorbs, uh, where's my notes, ice, uh, Reno absorbs lightning, and Rude absorbs ice. They're all immune to gravity, and yeah, so we have the option, let's end this. Let's take them out one more time. And they all have a different amount of HP, which is kind of weird. Okay, yeah, and they don't even get boss music, which is really weird. But um, Elena has 30,000 HP and is really the, uh, not the one to be wary of, but she's kind of the initiator of a lot of this. She's in the front row until you deal enough damage, and then she'll be in the back, and she'll retreat to the back row. Anyway, in the meantime here, let's throw a big guard, and what else do I want to do? I want to cast Jen. Get a little bit of healing in. They all have some attacks that I'm not particularly worried about. 
Again, Reno and Rude have the same items they did before. This means that you can actually get three Zydrikes in the game, which is actually pretty cool considering you could use all three of them on your active party members, and it would be pretty useful. Eh, I'm not too worried. Anyway, once we've stolen all the items, uh, like I was saying, they have different amounts of HP. So Elena has 30,000, Rude has 28,000, and Reno has 30, er, 25,000, sorry. Which kind of makes this fight a little difficult, because if you kill one of them, just like in Gongaga earlier on in the game, you'll only get the drops from one of them. However, if you kill them all at the same time, you'll get... Let me fast forward through this animation. You'll get the rewards for all of them. And see, I did almost 9,000 there. See, she got hit, and she retreats to the back row there. Now, the best way I've found to take them out, based on my stats in this playthrough, is to use Bahamut Zero with Barret, having the Magic Plus Materia, then Quadra Magic Ultima, followed by Cloud Mining, which should deal just enough damage to Reno, who for some reason takes more damage than the other two. He's got weaker magic defense, I guess. It should deal just enough damage that it won't kill him outright, and it'll leave him a little bit of HP, but it'll bring him them, you know, him and everyone else weak enough so that Cloud can mine the Quadra Magic Ultima, and not have to, uh, you know, and to be able to take them all out in one round so that you get all the benefits. Again, Elena can confuse you. She's kind of deadly that way. The other guy that can confuse you in this game, or not in this game, in this area, was the, oh, what was it, the Crazy Saw. That's the one you have to be wary of. So hopefully this takes them all out and I don't have to uh, worry about it. I don't think even a limit break will uh, interrupt the AI script with running away, though. So, yeah, see, Reno's not taking any more damage. So, hopefully this is enough to kill them all. Oh, apparently I can't target them. Okay, hopefully I got them all. Should be able to get all the rewards. That would be nice. Both Reno and Rude drop elixirs, so that's one of the reasons why I kind of went over the top to make sure I got them. That and they all give you a little bit of AP. Eh, I think I got all of them in that one. Level up Elemental. Don't have to use it for a while until I really need it. And yeah, so that's all for that one. And I'm just going to adjust my setup and I'll be right back. Okay, all set up and ready to go. Actually, I was just looking at uh, my guide there, and apparently I didn't take out Elena with that attack. So, just so you guys know... Yes, Yuffie? Okay. Just so you know, I wasn't able to take her out. You should probably deal her a normal attack. She was probably right there, ready to be dead. She was probably within a thousand HP of killing her as well. I'm not going to re for that. I'm far too lazy for that. Anyway, I got Tifa off the ground there. Kind of reminiscent to the way we uh, kept having pick up Jess earlier on. In now, talk to Sid. Sid's swearing again. And he's freaking out. Anyway, if you head right twice, I believe this is the right way, we end up at a dead end. It's not the way I want it to go. Now, I think this is the right way. Just gonna make sure because if it's the wrong way, I'm gonna end, start another sequence. Okay, there we go. There we go. And yes, while we're here, we can revisit Shinra Tower. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. There's some new items here. Yet yeah, we know that, Kate Sith. We're not here for that. We're here to loot some treasure. The other thing that makes absolutely no sense about this is they forgot, well... Yeah, I guess they forgot to take the enemies out. So there's still enemies roaming around here. No. Yeah, this is the last opportunity you have to pick up this um, Par uh, Turtle's Paradise letter if you missed it. So make sure you pick it up now because you won't have another opportunity later. And yeah, there are a few items in here. Some of them are kind of useful. Most of them are pretty much useless. Uh, oop, wrong way. Come on. You can do it, Cloud. Stop going up and down stairs. Not a lot of fun. You'll end up falling upstairs or rolling downstairs or something like that. Anyway, 
This area is back, and there, since there's no cashier there, we can just loot the treasure, which contains junk that we don't need. Now, yay, original enemies that are really weak. Yeah, fast forward through that, because that's just going to take too long. And here we are, back up at the, I think this is the 59th floor. Now, is there, there's no elevator here, I have to take, or no, this is the elevator, it's just not at the bottom like it usually is. Now, if I remember right, I think 62nd floor is where I need to go? Oh boy, it's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> oh, no, nope, I was wrong. I think it was, oh geez, was it 63 or 61? I knew it was around this number. Ah, there we go. 63. You can go over here. All the doors are unlocked now. There's only one item remaining. The Glow Lands, or Grow Lands, or whatever it was supposed to be. Yeah, it's not particularly important. Uh, it's another weapon for Sid. I, I don't know if there's anything special about it, because I, you know, never use it. Head up to 64. We can pick up a few more items. Some more useful than others. Some would be useful if we would use that character. Anyway, if you remember way back in the beginning of the game, we tried to bang on this, but they gave us shit. Now, we get two drinks instead of one. Of course, it's still broken, so we can't get any more. Even though I guess Cloud could simply beat on it forever and continue to get more items, but... Anyway, here we get the HP Shout, which was the megaphone that Cloud refused to pick up before. Um, now we actually have a megaphone user, so he picks it up. It is uh, Kate, Sith, Kate Sith's ultimate weapon, and it's not uh, 59th floor. And it's not all that useful. It, as far as ultimate weapons go, it's actually pretty good, but it's on a character I'll never use, so again, never really use it. Now, here we have the stairs. When we originally broke in here, we could have taken these stairs up, and we basically walk up 60 flights of stairs. There's like, I think there's six screens of this? Or something like that. There's a lot of screens of this. You just do this over and over again. I'm going to do the rest of this off screen. There's two items to pick up. I'll just put the uh, cut to wherever I get those items and I'll be right back. Okay, here's one of them. The Behemoth Horn, which is actually a weapon for Kate Sith, believe it or not. It's kind of useless considering we can get, you know, his ultimate weapon very soon after. It might be useful. I I can't remember how strong it is. I usually don't bother to pick it up, but since this is a let's play and kind of a walkthrough, figured it made sense to do it. Anyway, I'm going to get the one other item uh, whenever I happen to see it. Okay, here we go. The elixir. And now I'll just meet you uh, back at the outside, or, well, outside of the Shinra Tower, back in the, uh, the tunnels where we were going before. Come on, where's the bottom of these stairs? Jesus Christ, these take forever. Oh boy. It doesn't matter whether you start at the top or the bottom. You always end up having to do the same amount of stairs. Okay, here we are. We're just back at the uh, fork that I went into to go to uh, the Shinra Tower there. Head back through the area where Tifa was, which was right here. Run into the same enemies that you run into pretty much everywhere when you're here. And those enemies actually drop turbo weathers almost every time. See the amount of tumor weathers I have now? Wow, I'm more of them than I do regulars. Ah, well. That's an easy, you know, you could go and grind here if you want, but we'll have a way of, you know, abusing the game glitches to uh, get as many items as we want soon enough. Well, already. Basically, there's you use W item. It's uh, that material that I picked up at the other end. You can use it to duplicate any battle item that you want. And I'll show off how to do that when it's, you know, more appropriate and when I'm not trying to prevent the whole city of Midgar from blowing up. Anyway, we have a long boss. Do I want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do the long boss. I've got some limit breaks. That'll, that'll make it take significantly less time. Anyway, up here... Ah, let's just not head out of here? What do we got here? What the hell? Vincent, you really don't have much to say, do you? Huh? 
It's a giant robot, isn't it? Yep, it's a giant robot. With a gun for a head. Huh? Is that a hand? That is a hand. We know that laugh. Uh-huh. And we don't get the other laugh, but of course, uh, Scarlet is there as well. Oh well. You are dogs. The president was te te or treating you guys like dogs. We never even had any contact with you guys. The player gets to laugh at you over and over again because of how annoying you guys are, but that's about it. Anti-weapon artillery. Yeah, so basically, yeah, this is uh, what they're going to use to fight off weapon. This looks intimidating. Proud Claude. What a stupid name for a boss. Anyway, we get to continue with the same music through here. Don't know why that is, but meh, whatever. Anyway, start off with Big Guard, even though we probably won't need it. There are actually two parts. I'll just show you the area. Yeah, we've got the Proud Claude itself and the Jamar armor. Let's show off Omni Slash. This guy has a lot of HP. He's immune to gravity, so I have no problem using limits to drill down his HP. So I don't have to sit here forever. Cloud. 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 What are you? Cloud. Settle down. Yes, Cloud's Omni Slash is insanely good, especially when you get his ultimate weapon later on in the game. Now. Ah, he's taken off his armor already. The armor is called the Jamar armor. I think it's got 20-some thousand HP. And... Ultima... Mime... And... I'm gonna show off Flare, I guess. Back forward... There we go. Oh, one more. Oh. And what was I saying? Oh yeah, the uh, the guy himself, the prod clod, has 60,000 HP, which is why I have no qualms about abusing, you know, laundry magic, which I've been doing all along, but, you know, limits and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, this guy eventually will drop to his knees and fire directly on you, but, you know, whatever. We can get some pretty good damage just beating up on him. We could also use Barrett's Limit Break to finish him off. He's actually not all that hard. He's, he does not hit very hard. This is Catastrophe. This one is actually weaker if you max out his strength than Anger Max. However, I'm definitely nowhere near that, and the reason why Anger Max becomes better is because it hits more times. This one has this higher base power, so it's better, you know, right now. And for doing this and beating this boss, we get the Ragnarok, which is the second best weapon in the game for Cloud. I think I misspoke earlier when I said the Heaven's Cloud was the second best, but oh well. Yeah, this is a piece of junk. And extremely weak. Yeah, there's no way that that, that guy can compete with weapons. Like, not even the diamond weapon. The diamond weapon can do more damage than this guy. And all the remaining weapons can do more damage as well. Now, we could equip that Ragnarok. It's actually quite good. Has lots of slots. But again, triple materia growth definitely wins. Because look at this. I've almost got a level on Knights of the Round. And I think I only want to get one extra for one situation. I can't remember what that is at the top of my head. Top of my head but you want to level up double cut so you can get quad cut or four times cut, which is very nice. And mime. Mime I would like to master so that more than one person can have it, so I definitely want to work on those three. Eventually I'll change that for the magic plus material because I'd like to max that out because it's very helpful against some of the super bosses. Phoenix is another one that you could try leveling up. Uh, nothing else that I really feel the need to level up at this point in the game. I mastered it all, so let's change that with that one. Just so I'm not using a mastered one. Why not? Okay. And 
continue on. They don't really give us a lot of time in between the uh, boss fights in this area. There's an elixir, and here we get the best armor in the game. By far. The escort guard is quite good. It's a decent defense, nullifies some elements. However, the missile has 50% physical evade and 60% magical evade. Now, magic defense is broken. Magic defense evade is not. So we get really high physical evade, really high magical evade. Nothing can really hit you once you put this on. It is really, really good. Which means I can hand down the escort guard to uh, Vincent now. A little less defense, but the absorption helps. And I've got stuff to work on later. Alright, there is a save point there. We'll come back to that. Here's Kate Sith. Apparently we found it. Like I was saying, yeah, there's not a lot of break between the boss fights. The Turks, and then the, uh, the Proud Claude, and the final boss of the area is actually right up here. Believe it or not. And we have another new enemy. Oh, jeez. These are Soldier First Class. If, for some reason or another, you, uh, I don't know, you don't have some of this gear and you're, you need better armor, you can steal more of the Shinra Alphas from these guys, but that's not really all that beneficial. They've got 5,000 life, not weak to anything, nothing too particularly strong to deal with. Anyway, there's only one other new enemy here called the Gross Panzer. It's got 4,600 HP, nice, and it's weak to lightning, it's another machine, so meh. Anyway, if you have Barrett in your party, this chest will be here and it will be closed. If Barrett is not in your party, it will be open. However, if he is in your party, you can get the missing score, which is his ultimate weapon. Which again, once I get all the ultimate weapons, I'll go over it. I think I actually have almost all of them, don't I? Oh jeez, I think I do have them. I'll go over them later, once I'm not the maker. Anyway, I'm going to go back and use the save point, and then we will move on and figure out uh, if we can take Hojo down and stop him from destroying all of Midgar and, I guess, helping Sephiroth in the process. Wow, that's two evils. One out. Damn you, Hojo! Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.